Hi, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and just for fun and for um, teaching purposes I bought this clean water science lab kit when I was down in New York there's a um, down in Central Park there's a shop that has all these neat gadgets and stuff and every time I'm there I buy a, one of their different science kits just for experimentation purposes now this has uh, this is multiple things in one and that's why I like these kits this has a water filter a desalination plant and a uh, what do you call this a planter like a little self-contained environment and I got this with the purpose of experimenting with the water filtration and hopefully maybe teach some people a little bit about making their own water filter system in a post-collapse environment, water filtration will become very important and valuable. So, I decided to grab this. Now, it comes with all kinds of stuff here. So, we've got different things. There's a reflector for your solar, there's your cup for your solar. We'll do that in a different day. There's different bags of uh, filtration material. There's some sand, gravel, charcoal. Put those aside for a minute. And then there's your odds and ends. So I'm going to start out with the water filtration set today. And this will hopefully help me and you guys, everybody else out there, to learn how to filter water safely. So you have a good, reliable source of drinking water in a post collapse scenario. Also, if you get lost or are in a survival situation of any kind, having uh, clean, fresh drinking water is very important. And after I do all of this with this little lab kit, I'm going to go out and develop a real, life-size water filtration system for my off-grid, solar-powered camper. So i got to read this for a minute, and um, I'll be right back. So now I've got everything set out here, and I've checked my instructions. Uh, we need a cup and later I'll be getting some some dirty water as well to pour in here so there's a lot of little tiny pieces it's not a very large scale filter but it'll do the job so we need to start out with here's the base and we've got a filter cone which goes inside there Oh, it looks like we need one of these little bottom plugs inside here. See how it fits in. Little bottom plug fits down inside in the top. Sits in that hole. And then we put our filter cone inside. That goes on here. And then we've got some carbon, a container of carbon which goes on next. And we take little bits of this wax here, and they say plug off all but two of the holes with this tiny little wax. There's tiny holes, too.
As I said, when I'm done building this and showing the theory of building a water filter, I will be building a whole real life work, life size and functioning water filter to provide my own drinking water in my off-grid camper. So that's there. Now we put the charcoal on there. Looks like there's more than enough for multiple experiments here. Charcoal goes on the top. Next we have sand and the same thing. We plug off all but four, all but two of the holes. And this essentially slows down the flow of water through the filter so that the different level layers of material can do their job properly. You don't want the water to just flush through quickly. So this is the sand. Oops, made a bit of a mess there. Oh, it's pouring out the bottom, I see. That's a problem. I'm going to have to wet the sand. Be right back. Alright, I've got the sand in here. I had to wet the sand because it was really super fine. I think in this case it might be best to put a layer a little bit of filter paper down on the bottom of that in retrospect next time I think that would have to be done with this sand because with this little thing the sand is coming through so now we use gravel with no plug on the bottom or sorry with the no plugs on the uh, little plastic divider there and we pour the gravel in And that goes on top. Now, I have to go mix up some dirty water and try this little filter out. So I'll be back in a minute. Now I've got here some filthy water. I just went out and got some mud out of the yard and made some very filthy water here. And according to instructions, I'm just going to slowly pour this into the water filter. Now you want to do it slowly. You don't want the water to rush down. You want to just have it slowly dripping down through the system. And it's going to take a minute to get settled down far enough. But once the water soaks through the sand, then it's going to soak through the charcoal and that'll take a minute and then it'll start dripping down through the, the paper cone which will catch any sediment and then we should have clean clear water come out the bottom so I'm going to adjust the camera here so you can see this better okay so far see that would have been a good idea to put a divider here a little paper piece of paper between this under the sand because as you can see it sort of ran down a little bit let me see there's a good focus. The sand sort of came out a bit. So I'm going to continue, keep the water muddied up. The dirt from my water wants to settle out. I'm going to continue pouring a little bit in here. See it's pouring into the sand and then it'll work itself out down through the charcoal. Now this is a very slow filter. 
This is what's considered a slow filter. There are fast filters and slow, and the slow ones actually are a lot better and give you a lot cleaner water in the end. So I'm going to shut off the camera a minute until the water starts to drip out the charcoal, which could take a little while until everything is wet, until the water works itself through. All right, now the water has started to drip through the charcoal. And now, of course, in this filter, we're going to have... In this filter, we're going to have a little bit of charcoal dust. Now, normally what you would do, if you were going to use this for drinking purposes, what you would do is you would run some water through a few times, clean water, through the filter system a few times until your water came out clear out the bottom and then your charcoal would be rinsed out, out. All the fine dust particles of charcoal would be rinsed out and then after that you would start drinking. And actually if anybody knows the Brita water filter system they, they recommend that you rinse that as well which is exactly why it takes all the charcoal sediment out and powder. So now that it started to filter through I'll keep pouring some filthy water into the top and there it starts to filter through and there it's dripping out into the cup now again since I haven't rinsed the charcoal it's going to have some uh, charcoal sediment in it I may do this again I might just rinse the charcoal and flush it a while and do this again to show some better results but this demonstrates a clean drinking water filter system. The gravel filters out large particles. The sand filters out any small fine particles. The charcoal actually traps pathogens and chemicals. And the paper cone just absorbs any uh, charcoal sediment that's come through and you should have clean clear drinking water out the bottom now they don't recommend you drink it from this thing probably because this is not food grade but if you went and got gravel sand gravel and sand from a river and boiled it to be clean and pure and then strained it off then it would be safe for drinking your charcoal of course you could make charcoal by having a fire and then burying it after you get a bunch of coals you bury it for a couple days dig it up and uh, you'll have you let it cool off and you'll have uh, charcoal chunks which you can ground grind down to be fine charcoal but there you have a water filter system and that's all you need for survival is these three layers in your filter system for a survival water filter for drinking. So, as I said, I will demonstrate this in a real life size filter later on. And once I've rinsed this through, I'm going to do this project again and show you how clear the water comes out the bottom. Now, I've rinsed the charcoal a little bit. Now, I'm going to pour my muddy, filthy water into the top. This actually works a lot faster too when everything's wet properly. There you go. It starts to work way faster, almost instantaneously. You can see the water dripping through all the layers. It's dripping through the gravel up top, down through the sand. Sorry, you can't see it because I was just rinsing the charcoal. And out of the charcoal, through the paper cone, and we have clear, filtered water coming out the bottom. And that's how a water filter works. Your city water filtration system, when you turn on the faucet in town in your home, the filter is set up the same way. Exact same system that we're using right here. And this is how you can make your own water filter for clean pure drinking water. Now depending on the pathogens and the clean, cleanliness of the water you still might want to boil this but almost all impurities and chemicals would be out 
This does not guarantee the removal of virus and bacteria, but it pretty much removes all of your murky water, which you can see here in the top layer. It takes all of the mud and dirt and filth out of your water, and most of your chemicals and some bacteria and pathogens are absorbed into charcoal, and you get relatively clean, pure water out the bottom. Here you have all four layers functioning happily. You see the water dripping out of the gravel, down through the sand, out of the charcoal, and through the paper cone in the bottom. And what you have coming out is clean, pure water. There may be a little cloudiness in your water due to the charcoal. Again, if you rinse it a few times or cycle it through a few times, the first few cups of water you would want to throw away until the water came out clear. When I'm done running this muddy water through, I'll show you just to compare the difference. There you have your original muddy water and your clean, pure, filtered water. So I took your, your muddy water, ran it through your filter system, and gives you clean, pure drinking water. So there you have a homemade water filter system demonstrated. Hope you enjoyed the video.